What's up everybody? Uh, in this video we're going to be walking through the basics of adding a new product to your Shopify store with Airwaves On Demand. Once you have the app opened up, you want to click over to the Products tab. So this is where all of your products will show up once they've been created and where you would go to delete an item if you don't want to use it anymore. Uh, to add a new product, you want to click Add Custom Product. This brings you into the Design tool. Uh, start by selecting your product over on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, let's say you have a super cool idea for a crew neck sweater. Select your product line and click Apparel. This will bring up all of the available apparel products for you to choose from. Click on Adult Crew Fleece and then select the color you want from the Product Variant drop down menu. Now on the right side of the screen we have the Design menu. Click on Editing side to change which side of the garment you want to edit. You can put your design on the front of the shirt, or back of the shirt, or both, but in that case it'll cost you an additional $5.15. Next we have the option to add text to the product. Maybe your idea is just a really funny phrase that you think would go great on a sweater. Uh, just type your text into the box, choose your font, choose the color of the text, and click Add Text. Make the text as big or as small as you'd like, but keep in mind that it has to stay inside of this rectangle if it's going to print. So maybe your design is actually just a really cool image that doesn't need any text. So we'll click on this box and hit delete. Before we go and actually upload the image to the app, make sure that your design is saved as a PNG or JPEG, otherwise it won't work. Click on Add Image to Design and then Upload Image. Now you can resize and reposition your design to get it exactly how you want it. Just like with the text, any part of your image that is outside of this rectangle will not print. Alright, now say that you have a really cool idea for design and you know what you want it to look like, but you're not so great when it comes to art. Uh, click on Add Clip Art to Design and you'll see that On Demand has supplied you with a huge bank of clip art that is all completely free to use however you see fit. And then if you pull up the Element Editor, you'll get this little window where you can adjust the positioning and rotation of the image. So say you want to get the positioning really exact just click on the up or down arrows next to each number or enter the number in yourself. You can also delete or duplicate an image from this window and if you have multiple images on one product you can go in this positioning drop down menu to change the layering. So right now this image is on top of my other image and I want to send it back. Now we're going to click on preview and save. The first window here is all about how you want your product to appear on the store. First we're going to come up with a product title. Ideally, the product title is going to be attention-grabbing, but also descriptive of the product so that your customers can easily search for it. Writing up a product description isn't mandatory, but it's a good way to keep your customers' attention and also to build your brand. We automatically include some details about the garment itself, but you're free to delete that. Here we can see the preview images, so you'll know exactly what your product is going to look like when it shows up on your store. Uh, below that we have the option to pick and choose which colors the product will be available in as well as the size. Our design is pretty dark so it probably wouldn't look that great on a black sweater, but red seems like a perfect match. If you want to know what the product would look like in another color, click on this little eye icon to change the preview images. Once you've got the sizes and colors figured out, check the appropriate boxes and click continue to pricing. Now it's time to figure out how much you're going to charge your customers for your product. You've got a couple options here. Uh, the first option you have is to set a price based on the amount you hope to profit from each sale. So say I want to make $5 from each sweater. I type 5 and click set all prices and it'll automatically add $5 onto the production cost. You can also go in and individually set the price of each variant of your product so if for whatever reason you want people who wear mediums to have to pay more or you think that a different color of the shirt should be more expensive, you can do that. Uh, always keep in mind that you are also being charged for this product, so when setting the price manually, you'll want to make sure that your price is higher than the amount you'll be charged for each product. And that about wraps it up. Check out the Airwaves On Demand YouTube page for more tutorials and videos about the app. And have a great day.